Welcome to the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck with me, Frank Baltiers, where step-by-step step, I take you on a construction mission for you guys to build your own food truck or your own food trailer from scratch, from A to Z, all the way to, as you see behind me, a mobile kitchen and wheels. We take it all the way from the empty walls all the way to what you see here. So you guys can go out into the neighborhoods, into your events, your caterings, different pop-ups, festivals, whatever, you name it. You guys can serve just about anything that you guys want and you your imagination takes you to. But now, uh, I'm trying to start something and have something available for you guys, a little bit more in-depth of a ebook that I'm working on right now, as you guys can see right here. I'm actually trying to compile, have my table of contents, all the chapters laid out, so it can be more in-depth, help you guys out on how you can build your food truck. But today we're just gonna cover a couple questions that I have, uh, especially a question that I get very, very frequently. You guys do email me at rollingburritosfoodtruck at gmail.com. And you guys ask me this question, Frank, is the spreadsheet still available? And I do have the spreadsheet available. And I'm gonna tell you guys how I tell a lot of the people that email me, just about everybody. Sometimes I get a lot of messages, I can't get to all of them, but it is available. However, there is a charge for it now. At one point, if you guys were a fellow subscriber a long time ago when I first started making these food trucks, you guys probably had access to it for free. I do not do that anymore. Uh, I do have a small, real small, small fee. It's nothing crazy. It's just, uh, just they, as they say, you get this, some skin in the game. <laughs> that's what they call it. So that's what I have to answer that question. Is a spreadsheet still available? It is, but there's a small fee for it. But as a bonus, what I'm doing here on this ebook, as a bonus for the ebook, I'm doing two things. For the first, I really don't know if even I'll get 500 people to buy it. I, I really hope I do. But for the first 500 people, I'm gonna make like a little Stripe account and everything so you guys can check out, maybe a little bit easier. I'm gonna do two things. One of them you're gonna get as a bonus, my uh, my spreadsheet, which all it is is just a, com I compile all the links and I compile all the places that I buy my stuff, the materials, into one like Excel file. That's pretty much all it is. It's just an Excel file with all the links, all the descriptions of places that I buy all my stuff. The ebook is gonna take it another step further and break down like on the plumbing for example over there i'm going to show you guys right now what what gas what uh, elbows to use with 45s the black pipe the three quarter the gas fittings with the prep fridges that i have here the tables the the you name it even this window right here that we're about to open to let some light in because it's kind of dark in here so that's the kind of stuff that i'm going to have on this ebook to make it more in-depth for you guys to make it easier more of a step-by-step -step where it takes the videos and sorry and drops it down into a text form so that's going to be available for the first as i say maybe one person will buy it maybe 500 people will buy it but the first 500 people get a facetime call with me probably 15 minutes 10 15 minutes something like that nothing crazy don't get crazy you guys and they're going to get access to my spreadsheet for free all included just for being like the first pre-sale the book's not even out yet this little ebook, it's not even out yet, so that's kind of why we're doing like the bonus, why I'm doing it, just because I want to see if there is a, a little bit of interest in it. I know the spreadsheet has some interest, but uh, that's the other one. I just want to see if the ebook can actually have some interest. So as you guys can see, I have my laptop right here. I'm going to help you guys out. And again, I show you guys how to build food trucks from scratch. And another uh, question that I've had very frequently is on the layouts. You guys ask me the layout. I've used the same layout on all my five trailers that I've built. I have not changed anything. The only thing that has changed, you guys can see here, this trailer right here has a window. However, this window was installed from the builder. This is a Cargo Mate. This is a Cargo Mate Blazer trailer. So Cargo Mate, whoever bought this, I, I found this trailer on Facebook Marketplace which I recommend you guys go and look. That's actually part of uh, one of the chapters on the ebook is where to buy and how to buy. And I found this one on Facebook Marketplace. I'm already guys giving you a little bit of a bonus extra just because I love you guys and I do appreciate you guys watching all my videos. And if I haven't mentioned it, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been a fellow subscriber, thank you again for all the support, for sharing the content, for watching it multiple, multiple, multiple times because you guys do email me and message me on that and uh, already some great message of people that have their food truck up and running especially some people out in vegas they have a, like a hibachi place 
a couple other people here in the Chicagoland area. They have their food truck up and running. Cool to see you guys out. I <laughs> like use those videos to help you guys out. It uh, gives me a big smile to my face, put it that way. So what I, was, what I was saying about the layout, when you guys asked me about the layout, is what I would do, and this is what I did. I'm telling you exactly what I did. Obviously, I took my tape measure. I'm just literally breaking it down to the basics. And you, you say, you know what, what am I thinking about buying? This is a 60 inch fridge and I bought it a little bit oversized because it's the only fridge that I have and I wanted a bigger fridge here in my trailer. But let's say you want a 48 inch fridge. So you just measure your 48 inches and on the floor, just like you would do in your kitchen, I don't know if you guys have ever built a kitchen. If you guys haven't, usually when you're building a kitchen, you lay out the cabinets and you sometimes would put blue tape on the floor. That way you guys can see the flow of the cabinets. I think they did this in the movie The Founder. If you guys, ever, if you guys haven't seen the movie The Founder, it's the people that uh, Ray Kroc with McDonald's and whatever. If you see on one of the parts of the movie, on the floor, they lay out like where the fryer is, where this is, where this is. And then they put the workers in there and then they're like working. You know what? This flows nice. This doesn't flow nice. And that's kind of the same concept that you guys would have to do. Take your tape measure, pick out certain equipment that you think you will be using, lay it out on the floor with blue tape, and then just kind of see, you know what, this one can move over a couple inches, this one can go this way a couple inches. So that's how I would work that option. You guys can do the same thing with the hood. This one is one of my smaller hoods that I installed. It is a six foot hood. Uh, I always used a little bit bigger. I think I went with seven foot most recently. So that's kind of like how I would do this. Even in the ebook, we're going to cover more on the electrical. You guys have a lot of questions on the electrical, especially that on the Amazon links that I link in the description, which they are affiliate links. They help you guys out, get easier access. And I do make a small sliver just so you guys know, but all the affiliate links that I put on there are things that I actually use. So hopefully that helps you out. But right here, there's no power here, so don't worry. So right here, this, this cable right here, right there, you guys can see that. That's called an SOOW cable, which is an outdoor cable rated. The jacket's really thick. That one, uh, I put the link on here and I think you guys sold out of all the equipment. So you guys might have to go to your electrical supply house to buy it. Go to your electrical supply house, Google electrical supply houses near me. And then they'll show up a bunch of places. Sometimes it's called Amperage. Sometimes it's called, uh, you know, Gray Bar, whatever it is, wherever you're at. There's got to be a City Electric. There's got to be electrical supply. Go in there and you ask for either you can do 6-gauge wire, 8-gauge wire. This one's a 10-gauge wire because it's one of my older food trucks. This is mine. This is Rolling Burritos. But I only need 30 amps of power. 10-gauge, 30 amps, and so forth. If you do 6-gauge... Usually you could do 50 to 60 amps on a six gauge. Like when we do, um, I do a lot of electrical work. So when I do a, like a Tesla outlet, I use six gauge wire because it pulls 60 amps. So kind of just gives you a reference of how to use that. So with that, little questions like that, that I'm answering right now live and in person and on the, here on the camera, are questions that I'm gonna put in the ebook. That way, um, all the FAQs, right, that frequently asked questions, they can actually have somewhere to live. You guys can see them and you guys can be like, that makes sense. You know what? Now that I see it, I like it. And it's going to have like links to YouTube videos and things like that. What else can I tell you guys about the food truck right here? And you know, all I have is this table, my sinks, my three compartment sink, my window. This is stainless steel that I use on the ceiling. And pretty much I've always summarized every food truck video that I have. The only big announcement that I've had today was that one that I'm working on in an ebook. So if you guys are interested in the pre-sale, one of two ways. You guys can email me rollingburritosfoodtruck at gmail.com or hopefully I did it right and I'll put like a little Stripe link in the description where you guys can check out. And don't forget, the first 500 people, I know people say that stuff or whatever and I, I, I honestly have to do it because I'm going to give you guys a free FaceTime call as a bonus and I cannot do a lot of them. So the first like 500 people for a book that doesn't exist yet, <laughs> it doesn't exist. Grant Cardone always says this, right? You make something and then you sell it and then you figure out a way how to deliver it. So that's what we're doing here. I'm delivering a book by the end of the month, an ebook for you guys to purchase. 
you get a bonus of a FaceTime call with me and my spreadsheet so you guys can get all my material list and the cost and things like that. And hopefully that helps you out. Again, I'm Frank Baltieres. I know this video today wasn't as detailed as my normal ones. It's just because I wanted to talk a little bit more about the ebook and that you guys can have a little bit more insight of what's coming up. And that's like the next project for me because I'm not building any more food trucks. I'm just here in mine rolling burritos and that's about as good as we get. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm Frank Baltieres.